Do you ever want to make a uniform to your Liberty County private server? Well, this is the video for you. I'll be going step by step on how to download, design and upload your custom uniforms. First step is to go to Google, type in what you want and then Roblox uniform template. Download the one that you like and then you can go to the first link in the description, photo P and click open from computer and then the template that you chose. I chose this lovely one from Substandard Development. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of every single watermark or logo on this because this uh, company, which I assume is the Liberty County Fire Department and is extremely blurry, I'm not designing for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this little eyedropper. I'm going to get the exact color right next to the logo. Then I'm gonna to go to the paintbrush and I'm just gonna circle out that object. And there we go. I could neaten that up so it's not so obvious that I've cut something out but right now I don't think I need to. Then I'm gonna to go to the second one, I'm gonna circle that one out as well and continue like this. Now that I've done that, I've cut every single logo out of this and I've also gone through the wire to the radio. So we will put that back in later. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text to the uniform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to this little T on the sidebar, then I'm gonna type in event team. Once I've done that, I'm gonna shrink it down because it is a bit too big at the moment. And I'm gonna move it over to the side with the move tool up the top. I'm then going to go layer, layer style, blending options. Then I'm gonna turn on color overlay and stroke. I'm going to change the stroke to be white, which it already is, and I'm going to add it 10 pixels. And then I'm going to go to this, and yep, that is the color that I wanted it. Now that stroke is a bit too thick, so you can play around this with this as much as you want until it looks good for you. Okay, I found a design that I like with the event team. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill in this wire again because it does look a bit weird with a wire that suddenly stops and starts again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Then once I've got that, what I'm going to do is click this button on the layer that I already have. Then I'm going to go to our pen. As you can see, I've got that there. And then I'm going to shrink down the cursor size to, I would say that wire is about four pixels. And then I'm going to get with the eyedropper, the exact color, which is black. And then I'm going to zoom right in and carefully draw over the text. As you can see, now I've completed the wire and just made it a little bit more twisty because it wouldn't be exactly straight on every uniform. Now that I've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the logo to the uniform. So their logos were here. So I'm going to assume that this is where, when I upload the template, their logos will be. It may differ for you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my home page and then I'm going to get the Sydney Roleplay logo. I'm just going to drag it onto there. Now, just be aware that where you put your logo may differ. All of these sleeves look extremely similar. Sometimes I will have to put it here and sometimes I'll have to put it here. It really depends on R15 and R5 avatars. So make sure that you're making it for the right one. As you can see now, I've got Event Team and Sydney Roleplay both on the livery. I just dragged over the Sydney Roleplay logo into the Photo P drive and I was able to import it and just drag it around with the Move tool up here. Now that you're happy with your uniform, what you wanna do is you want to prepare it for exporting. So what I like to do to make sure that there's no bugs is I like to go up to this tool up here, make sure it's re rectangle select. Once I've done that, then I'm going to zoom all the way in to the start of the white pixels here. Once I've done that, I'm going to zoom out again and I'm just going to select all of the white here which is meant to be transparent and then I'm just going to turn it to transparent doesn't matter how much you cut out just make sure that it is just the right amount so that you don't cut in to your uniform once you've done this you're ready for exporting so what you want to do is you want to go to file export as make sure it's a PNG so it has those transparent changes 
and then your uniform would have saved. Now you'll want to go to the second link in the description. Now this is not sponsored, this is just the website that I use. It's custom use and because uploading shirts to Roblox does cost 10 Robux, obviously you want to see whether your uniform has any glitches with the logos before you upload it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop my shirt file here or I can upload it. So as you can see now I can preview my shirt. This is why you want to check it. I have accidentally put my logos on the front of the avatar when I wanted them on the side of the avatar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them around. Now that I've done that with the move tool I can export it again. Go back to custom use, click replace. Replace with my new shirt and as you can see my logos are on the right side and event team is in the back at the right position. What you will want to know and what this website does not show you, some 3D pants like the pants that I wear normally in my videos do overlap with the forms. So you'll probably only see up to this line where my cursor is on your uniform. You don't want to guarantee that everyone will see something down here. While you're also in this, you can also view it for boy avatars, just to make sure that it works with that avatars, and just to make sure that the 3D does not cut off, and also girl avatars, and as you can see, my logo is a little bit stretched on that avatar, so you could consider uploading another one for people who use this avatar. The last step is go to the third link in the description, go to creations, avatar items, classics, shirts, and then you can click upload asset here, and then click upload, put your template in there, and then it will cost you 10 Robux to add it to the platform. I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.